Hello, welcome back. You're really close and personal today. Don't you see that? Don't you feel close to me? As always, my AC is way louder than it should be, and so is my refrigerator. So I apologize for the next 30 plus seconds of this video. I just, oh, hello, wind. Why are you so loud? You weren't loud this whole time. Oh, no, that's an airplane. Yes, yes, airplane fly through the sky, crushing all of my dreams. Welcome back to Living Lovely, this is Kim. We're really close here today. And as I said before, everything is really loud, so I apologize, we're almost done here. I had a week's worth of vlog footage that was wonderful, it was interesting, you got to see me walking around, living my life, being fantastic, and then all of it got deleted off of my computer except little baby clips here and there. So, I didn't figure that out until uh, just recently. So with that being said, I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea as to why my footage is so strange and why you're probably just going to see one day's worth of vlog footage. So instead of a weekly vlog, here is a day in the life of Kim. See you soon. Golly, it's so dark. Light. It is 7.03, I'm running late already. One of the few good things that came out of me um, paying for my stupid um, library card was that now I can get the Hoopla app. Hello there, this is present day Kim, narrating this mess of a vlog. To give you a little backstory here, on Tuesday of this week, past Kim had to pay $11 to the library system because she had been running from the law for about seven years. A long time ago, past Kim did not return some books on time and had fees. Instead of past Kim paying those fees, she just moved to a different county. Now, as present Kim, I would like to say, don't do that. It is petty and you should just pay your fees. Be better than past Kim. Then you can use cool apps like Hoopla. Also, Hoopla sponsor us. Back to the vlog. Hoopla, I don't know if Hoopla is something that is used outside of Florida. I feel like it has to be, um, but pretty much what it is, it's an app that allows you to connect your library card to the library system and access tons of free um, like materials as it would inside the library. You can rent your books on here, um, rent your like CDs on here and have them sent to your house. There's also an option for audiobooks, which is something I've been looking into for quite some time. Captain Underpants. Um, I'm not sponsored. We are not sponsored by Hoopla. We would like to be sponsored by Hoopla, but we also are not. <laughs> uh, but it's just really cool and I've been playing around with this a little bit and I'm gonna find some books to listen to on my long commute. Look at all this wonderful traffic. Mm. Great, it's seven o'clock in the morning, but I do have Starbucks on its way. Woohoo! Are ready to go. So, yesterday, I meant to tell you guys this, but I think there was a little bit of shame connected to this outside of the fact that I, I mean, there's a lot of shame embedded into yesterday. Well, hello there. This is present day Kim popping in to narrate what's going on here. So, as you probably can now see there is no previous day because homegirl lost all her footage so who oh, i'm out of breath i just walked up the stairs golly back to my narrating i would like to say 
that I feel slightly disrespected by my computer because as you can see, this was the day when past Kim was struggling just a touch. Past Kim's hair was a little bit unraveled as well as past Kim was talking about what happened the day before when past Kim was also struggling probably the most. That is all. I will let you return to the footage now. Um, maybe not shame. Hmm. The whole thing with my library card <laughs> and the drama there. But also, yesterday I definitely had probably one of the most shameful uh, days when it comes to something that I did while I was um, down while I was at work. So I was meeting with someone and I was wearing these high-waisted pants that I knew good and well. I knew good and well that these high-waisted pants were not, no, I, I know how these high-waisted pants do me dirty. And I knew good and well that it would not be wise of me to put on these high-waisted pants to wear on a day where my majority of my day was spent in meetings. But for some reason, I was like, Nah, Kim, you good. This is a good decision. You've been working out. You can for sure wear these high-waisted pants that suffocate your waist each time you put them on. So I was like, I woke up in the morning. I was like, had those thoughts come into my mind like, you shouldn't wear these. And I was like, bet, put the pants on, wore them out. And as I'm sitting across from, I was fine morning time I was like perfectly fine and I just bloat as the day goes on I gradually get larger and larger from breathing air and um, as I was stand sitting in front of um, the woman who I was uh, having my meeting with thankfully there was a desk in front of or in between us because I definitely as she was speaking was lifting my stomach fat and like pulling it out of my pant and resting it on top of the waistband of my pant. It was one of those pants that just hits in the wrong, in the weird area. Like I have a body shape or like a bottom half shape that's kind of peculiar because my calves are really intense and so are my thighs. So my calves and my thighs are like maybe two or so sizes larger than my waist is. So what's happening a lot of the times is I will get a pair of high-waisted pants that would technically fit my waist if they came up as high as they were supposed to, but because they end up hitting like mid stomach or some, like somewhere like super awkward due to the fact that they do not come up as high because of my friggin' calves and thighs, because it, that bottom of the that part of the pants just isn't stretchy enough or whatever fill fill in your gap fill in your um whatever so because of that it always like just cuts like in the most uncomfortable position of my stomach and that was the deal yesterday is it was just cutting directly into the most uncomfortable position of my stomach so i'm sitting there trying to breathe <laughs> and ultimately just struggling I was so upset and so annoyed so I was just pulling out and then just like resting because it was like it was just I mean there was enough stomach that I could just like flop it out and like flop it over the top of it but I've never felt probably more um, uncivilized in a moment but I also never felt more relief in a moment after getting my stomach the ability to breathe by placing it on the pedestal that it's always wanted which was my pants um, but yeah, it was definitely one of those days where I got to the end and I'm like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> my day is ridiculous, I'm ridiculous, and my stomach right now is being ridiculous. All I had was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and my stomach was like, girl, we both know you don't need to be eating this. And messed me up. I was like, dang, can't your girl live? I'll work out. I'm an instructor, my stomach don't need to be acting like this. I'll bloated and wide, but regardless <laughs> um, it was a very fun day